Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I want to challenge you to see if you can figure out how to make Scratch Cat move on its own. So there's two different challenges that I have for you. One is to see if you can make it so that the sprite will follow your mouse. So wherever you move your mouse, Scratch Cat will follow. And the second challenge is to see if you can make it so that the sprite will move randomly around the screen. So what I want you to do before we actually watch the rest of this video is to see if you can figure out those two challenges follow your mouse and move randomly. So go ahead and pause this video and see if you can do that. Okay, you probably didn't pause, that's fine. I guess you want me to just show you how to do that. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so first thing that we wanna do, we're gonna press the green flag and that's gonna make our thumbnail hide and we don't have a cat. Okay, so we actually have to go into looks and simply click where it says show. Ta-da, now we have a sprite. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna demonstrate for you is to make it so that uh, the cat will follow the mouse because, you know, it's a cat, chases mice, mises, mooses. Um, so I want to start with an event because we always start with an event and it's gonna be when I press the green flag, we're going to make it so that the cat will follow the mouse. So to do that, we're gonna have it forever point towards the mouse. So we're gonna use this. And then we're going to have it move towards the mouse. And we're gonna pick a small number like three. So now when I press the green flag, Scratch Cat's gonna point towards the mouse and move in that direction. Now you'll notice that Scratch Cat is only looking left and right. If you'd like to change that, you could actually make it so that Scratch Cat moves all around. So Scratch Cat can fly upside down when going to the left. I personally don't like that, um, but you can keep it that way if you like. I'm gonna make it so that Scratch Cat instead just moves left and right. Okay, now check this out. When Scratch Cat gets to the mouse, starts shaking his head vigorously. I don't want my Nyan Scratch Cat to do that. Um, so what's happening is, let's say this is a mouse pointer and our Nyan Scratch Cat is moving it moves three steps and it moves past uh, the mouse pointer. Then it's turning around to go look at the mouse pointer, moving three steps past. Then it's turning and it's just keep doing this really, really fast so that it's going back and forth um, across the, the pointer. Now, I don't want it to do that. So we're going to fix it by going to control and we're going to add in a conditional block called an if block. And we're basically going to say, <laughs> I can't speak. We're basically going to say, do this stuff as long as we're not touching the mouse. So we're gonna use an operator. We're gonna say, if not, and then we're going to use a sensing block, touching mouse pointer. Then it's going to do this stuff. Otherwise, if it is touching the mouse pointer, it won't point towards it and it won't move. So check this out. It just stops now. And it stops, and it stops. So this code right here fixes that, so that way you can make it so that the um, Nyan cat will follow your mouse. And if you want the uh, cat to move faster, just change this to a bigger number. And if you want the cat to move slower, change this to a smaller number. Now we got a slowdy cat. That didn't make sense. That's okay. Please forgive me. Okay, so now the next thing that I wanted to show you in this video is I wanna show you how to make it so that the cat will move randomly. So we're still going to, whoa, that was cool. That's not, yep, okay. Let's try this again. Drag this up here. Okay, so we're going to still make the cat move, but we wanna make it so that the cat points uh, basically in a random direction. Um, so instead of uh, using this um, point towards and then go to something in particular, we're just going to have it like kind of turn in a random direction. So we're going to say turn, and it's gonna be somewhere between a minus 10 and 10. So that'll make it basically turn left or turn right. And uh, when we're on the edge, we wanna make it so that the sprite bounces. Okay, so it's moving, it's turning, and it's bouncing. And now Scratch Cat is going to move randomly across the screen. And again, if we change this to a high number, we'll see Scratch Cat move faster. So that's how you uh, can solve those two challenges that I gave for you at the very beginning, which I'm sure you paused and tried on your own. That's okay. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and uh, if you want to rewind back to the previous code, go ahead and do that and pause there so you can try and make something similar on your screen. However, you can add in other blocks to make it even more complicated and do some other similar but even neater things. 
Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.